Oh, you arrived. It's so good to see you. We have so much to talk about. Let me get this paper here regarding artificial intelligence, AI. Since November 2022, so much has taken place. What I've seen on a daily basis, I can't even follow, but notwithstanding, I'm trying to keep aligned with what's happening. But most of all, our students, our students need to be AI ready. And I want to say in order for us to do that, we need to start looking at various tools and get moving. So let us begin by engaging our students and ensuring that we're thinking about them being AI ready, not just for tomorrow, but oh, oh, hold this for me, please. Have a look at that. Watch it. Hi, I'm Steve King, Chair of the Faculty Senate. Our students need AI skills right now to be competitive in the workforce and in the advanced degrees they will be pursuing after graduation. Our students can't wait two years or five years to learn from us, so we can't wait two years or five years to teach them. All of us faculty need to find out what students need for AI in our own areas of study and start teaching our students those exact AI skills. So go out there, go play with AI, find ways to use AI in your own research and your own teaching, and then share all that knowledge with your students. Thanks. Okay, thank, okay, you. thank you. See you later. Yes, and just listening to that and watching that, you realize that this is going to change everything. We encourage faculty to try using generative AI to support creating openly licensed free content, such as by creating course assignments or assessments as part of a collection of open educational resources. By using AI to create open content that is free for our students, you help solve the barriers of cost, access, and representation in course materials, while at the same time accelerating your process to plan, create, and enhance content for your courses. And that is just a tip of the iceberg. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. AI is not magic. It's science. No, notwithstanding, I'm just going to do it. And here we are again. We are already using AI, so why not continue? We can use it also for accessibility. Did you know most captioning services use some form of AI to generate their initial transcriptions? AI is a useful tool to start getting DIY multimedia supported for those with deaf, hard of hearing needs and beyond. Yet, as these caption services know, this is not the end of the support story, since these AI transcriptions are automatically inadequate. For compliance or approved interpretation, human review and editing is required. Let's transcribe with AI humanly well. Yes, so we must use AI, of course, humanely. And in order for us to do that, we must think about ethical frameworks that will guide their assistance. And we have to go on this journey together. We cannot go single-handedly, but we must walk this road together. Let us see what some of our faculty at UCF are saying about artificial intelligence. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This is Morgan Wong from Statistics and the Data Science. It's Li Chang Li from Statistics and the Design. In the first coming academic journey, AI will undoubtedly play a significant role. While we acknowledge that AI presents a whole set of challenges, it will be a valuable ally in our educational pursuit. Yes, it can assist in optimization of our lecture notes. It can get us to exploring new research avenues it also can facilitate the creation of homework assignment, quiz, and exam. We wish, wish you, you and your loved ones all the, all the best, best as and as we navigate the AI era together. together. I'm happy to be here. I want to say this is going to be a wonderful conference. Open your minds as we engage to ensure our students are not left behind in the AI era. <laughs>